Hi there, everybody. Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. So far in this video series, we have adapted our syllabus from 12 weeks down to six weeks for the accelerated Bachelor of Education program delivery. And I have copied over content from my previous instance of my BED course from fall 2022 into my uh, new blank Moodle shell. Again, this is an old Moodle shell that I'm working with uh, for a different course. I didn't need to use it. It's not live. My students can't, uh, can't see what I'm doing in here. Uh, so I'm using this as an example because I'm not teaching leveraging tech for learning in the winter term for this program. I don't have an empty shell for it. So we'll pretend that that's what this shell is for. I need to now convert this over based on uh, the changes that I had planned in my syllabus for the six week delivery. Very first thing I'm gonna do here is update my label uh, by hitting edit and change this from fall 2022 to winter 2024 so that I don't confuse my students. The next thing I'm going to do is check to see if there's anything up here in this header area that needs to be updated. Well, I'm not going to be meeting in the uh, Marvin Harvey building. Uh, I'm not going to be meeting Mondays from 9.30 to 11.30. Uh, you'll get this information from your syllabus, and you'll need to update this here. So I'm going to just uh, pretend that I have some times. So we're going to meet uh, Mondays and Wednesdays from 9.30 to 11.30, let's say, and we will be meeting online via the Microsoft Teams platform. Okay, so that is now updated. And now I'm going to check under my resources here. Okay, I've got my online meeting space. Well, because this is going to be uh, online meeting spaces for everything uh, as opposed to meeting in person, I'm going to actually move this up here so that it's front and center for my students. So it's easy to drag and drop this stuff around. I'm gonna use my same Microsoft Teams space with my same join code, and I'll show you later on in another video in this series how to clean that up and adapt that for your upcoming course if you already have one existing. That way I don't need to recreate everything that I have in Teams. That will make things a little more efficient for me. Uh, I don't need both of these co uh, course evaluation blocks here, so I'm going to delete one of those. Uh, I've got some resources here about accessing Teams. Uh, I'm going to leave that under the course resources. I just want my meeting space up here for my students. Okay, um, I might need to do some more updating here. Like I'm, I might want to set up a new Google Classroom space for my students or some other resources. Minor things like that, you might need to change some of the dates and times you have listing on. Assignments, you're going to need to go down through all of these and update the, uh, the due dates for them based on the changes that you had in your syllabus. That's quick and easy to do. I'll just update one of these here because I did have it in my syllabus that I wanted that first assignment to be due on January the 14th. So I will change this one here. And I'm gonna double check that was the Google Apps for Education one. Yes, so I'll change that to the 14th of January, 2024. And you would do that for all the rest of your assignments. Now, the next thing that I want to update while I'm waiting for that to refresh in there, 
I have got uh, weeks one and two of my content for my syllabus compressed down to just week one for my uh, six week delivery format. That's how I decided would be the most efficient way to do this. So I'm gonna scroll on down here and um, yes, obviously you'll need to get rid of any assignments that you decide to drop or change. You'll need to edit them. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna edit week one based on my dates that I have in here. So it's January the 18th to the 14th, 2024. So I'll just put that in here. January 18th to the 14th. And I have two different module topics in here. It is a course overview, models of technology. Uh, so I'm just gonna take this content and replace this. Save my changes. And now I'm going to drag and drop content between weeks one and two that I uh, that I need copied over. So my week one content is already here. I'm simply going to update some of the names of some of this and call it topic one instead of week one, just to uh, just to make it a little less confusing for my students. And I can leave my week one discussions as it is. And I'm going to copy my overview re, uh, materials here. And I'll need to rename this because obviously it's not week two, it's topic two. Covered under week one. And I need to update uh, this year. Uh, this is obviously from last year, so I'm going to delete that. Watch the following topic two overview video. So just some minor updates of uh, some of the dates in here. And that one is ready to go. And I might have some other uh, some other things that need to be copied uh, over or dragged over from week two uh, to uh, to topic one. So I have this topic two point one. So I'll bring this over. And just copy all of my materials over here that I need. I'm going to drag them all up to week one under the same heading. Bring this one up as well. I have a special discussion for my students on that topic. And I also have this topic here on assistive technology integration. So I'm gonna copy this header up. And this Moodle book, and I'm gonna change that uh, label from week two to topic 2.2. .2. or I'll just take out the week two altogether. Wait for that to load and go double check and see if there's anything else that I need to copy up here from, uh, from week two. Uh, so I have my weekly checklist items. I'm going to bring that up to uh, my checklist here for my students. And change what this one says. The topic to overview video.
and see if there's anything else here under week two that I needed to copy up. Uh, yeah, the uh, Google Classroom activities, these need to be copied up here. And I'm going to take out the week two. Change that to topic two, readings and activities in Google Classroom for this particular group. And I'll drag up the rest of uh, any of these materials here that I need uh, so that I have all of my, um, my content ready to go for my students for week one. Uh, week 1A. And I might need to reorder some of these. I have a lot of items on this checklist that's uh, going to make sense because we're going to have a lot of extra work in this compressed version of the uh, the course. Okay, so now that we have gone through all of our material and we have reorganized it under our uh, pre-planned uh, six-week delivery format, I have got everything here under my six weeks now. You'll probably be left with some blank topic spaces at the bottom of your page. If you are easy enough, you just delete each one of those to clean up the rest of your Moodle space. And by that time, you should be ready to go uh, for students to access your Moodle space uh, come the uh, the upcoming term.